Michael Myers is back. Yes, he is. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Reviews with Fairy Nay. I am Fairy Nay. Today, we are going to review that brand new film, Halloween Ends, the 13th installment in a Halloween franchise. So let's do it. Come on out, Michael. Come on. Let's get it done. Halloween Ends today. Okay, everyone. As I mentioned, Halloween Ends is a 13th and final installment to the entire Halloween franchise. Halloween Ends is part of a Halloween trilogy that began back in 2018. The first film in 2018 was called Halloween. <laughs> the second film debuted last year, Halloween Kills, and that was a major slasher. Michael cut everybody to shreds and it killed a lot of people, including Lori's daughter. And this one? Halloween Ends, the final finale film with Michael Myers? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> Halloween Ends is once again directed by the great David Gordon Green. And okay, now I told you all last year that I was at the very first Halloween movie, way back in 1978 when it came out, I know, I know. So Halloween franchise is super nostalgic to me. Back in the day, Halloween was a big deal. And at these little theaters, the staff were really into it. They got all dressed up in costumes and everything to spook everybody out so you'd be ready for the big film. <laughs> it was a big deal. Then a guy come out on the stage and announce the movie old school style, welcome everybody to the theater. And I remember him saying the brand new John Carpenter film Halloween. And it takes place in a small fictional town of Haddonfield, Illinois. Me living in Chicago, that made it really, really personable and spooky doo. <laughs> so here we are today, some 44 years later, and Michael Myers is back. But it's a very big butt here. <laughs> no pun intended. A brand new fresh Halloween entry, I gotta tell you. There's a lot of mixed reviews out there about Halloween ends, but this is my take. I found the story to be completely fresh. I was surprised with a brand new featured killer along with Michael Myers. And that fresh new take on the old Michael's come back routine and we can't stop him no matter what. It was really welcoming. I also thought the movie developed and moved at a good pace. And the writers, David Gordon Green, of course, Danny McBride, Paul Brad Logan, and Chris Bernier, it was on point. You know what I say, every good movie has to start with a good or even greater script. And this was a good story. This Halloween in story was very respectful to the franchise, to Jamie's character, Laurie Strode, her, Lori Strode's family, and mainly to the people out there, us. The plot is very simple. It's been four years since Halloween Kills and no sighting of Michael Myers. Lori Strode is trying to forget Michael Myers ever existed and just cope. So unfortunately, she has developed a drinking problem and she spent most of her days writing her memoirs. And she's found this to be very therapeutic, you know, since Michael killed her daughter, Karen Nelson. So here we got Lori Strode at home every day. She's writing, she's calm. She's taking all the, the bars off the windows. She's pretty content for the most part and just happy living with her granddaughter, Allison Nelson, who's portrayed by Andy Matichek. Now, here's where it gets funky. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a lot of giveaways, so know that. Allison meets a young man in town uh, named Corey Cunningham. He's portrayed by the actor Rohan Campbell, who he also is being stigmatized and bullied in town because he was accused of murdering a young boy that he was babysitting. But it was proven that he didn't commit it, but the stigma stuck. So he and Allison bond because they both share the same animosity, shameful looks and put downs and bullying from the Haddonfield community that they're known for in the wake of the Michael Meyer killings. 
you know, and Connie's ham, unfortunate accident with killing the little boy he was babysitting. Now, sadly, due to extreme bullying and prejudices against Rohan, he like loses it and becomes a copycat killer of Michael Myers. <laughs> and that's as much of a giveaway as I'll tell you. <laughs> I will say this Halloween had its fair share of some serious, authentic killing scenes. Some were so ugly and brutal, but you love it. That's part of what you pay to see when it's done right. You do. That's what you pay for. What more can I say? It was good. Don't want to do any more giveaways, seeing how this is the last Halloween. And I will tell you this. It ended on a great note. And Jamie Lee Curtis was fantastic as Laurie Strode, as always. She was even better than in Halloween 2018 or the 1978 Laurie Strode because time has made her develop her character. And she is now tough as leather and even more clever with age. And there are quite a few other co-stars from the past Halloween films, such as James Judge Courtney and Nick Castle. They are reprising their roles as the original Michael Myers, or the shape, as they like to call them. And good old Will Patton returns as Deputy Frank Hawkins from the original 1978 Halloween, and he was in a few other ones. He was in the last one, too. Now we got Cal Richards as Lindsay Wallace, one of the children that Lori babysat in 1978. She was in there, too. <laughs> they were just in there a little bit. And finally, Omar Dorsey. He reprises his role as Sheriff Barker, Haddonfield's latest new sheriff. Final thoughts, final thoughts. Expect the unexpected in this Halloween ends. I think it was very good. Uh, like I said, it was a lot of mixed critics, but hey, there you go. Halloween Ends, of course, is not for young children, but it is for people that love the Halloween franchise. If you're anything like me and you want to find out what happened to Michael Myers, then you have to go and see Halloween Ends. I give Halloween a four stars out of five for a slasher horror film. That's pretty good. And hey, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? I would love to have your subscription. Hit the red subscribe button once below, check the little bell once, and I'll never bother you. <laughs> I'll only remind you every time I drop the next powerful, funny, super unconventional reviews by Reviews with Fay Renee. And please don't forget to check our social below so you can find out where we are. We're on YouTube, of course. We're on IG, we're on Facebook. And don't forget to check our website, www.reviewswithfayrenee.com. We always have interesting things on there. And we have the brand new updated fall or Halloween movies for 2022. You can look at that right online or you can download it for you and your family to enjoy at home and find out what's on TV that you can watch that spooky dooky. Okay, check that out. The updated 2022 list of Halloween films. There's 70 on our list this year. And finally, finally, we are streaming on the brand new Infinity TV network station. The app for that is My Infinity. You can download it for Roku. You can get it for Android, iPhone, and Google and everything now. You just look up the channel guide. Once you get My Infinity app on there, and you'll find reviews with favorite name streaming. Y'all, I'm a little bit scared now. Because that's it. That's all. <laughs> this is Faye Renee. Holla! <laughs> hey guys, this is my Halloween like to take out the picture picture. <laughs> Ain't it cute? It's like cute.